All right, if you are using HP laptop and your TPM is not supported for Windows 11, you will see this kind of message that this PC doesn't currently meet the minimum system requirement to run Windows 11. At least you can fix the TPM. Here you need to go to Windows Security and you see that your TPM is not supported. So here uh, in Windows Security option, you just go to Device Security and here you will see security processor and my TPM is 1.0, 1.2. And the other way is to check this TPM is to press Windows R button. And here you type this command tpm.msc and you will find the TPM version here. It's 1.2. And the other method is to Windows plus X button and here you go to device manager and in the device manager section here under security you will see you just double click on this one and go to details and here you will see that tpm is 1.0 but the windows 11 will need a tpm that is 2.0 here you also need to consider one important thing that is manufacturer if your is infineon ifx then you can upgrade this one and i'll provide you the list of the laptops and desktop computers with this infineon i don't know if i'm pronunciating it wrong or right but this is the manufacturer so if you fall under this category then congratulations you can upgrade your tpm so all you need to do is to uh, go this website and here you will you know scroll down and you will find the list of the you know these devices that are able to upgrade and here my laptop is available because I'm using this one HP Alaybook uh, 1040G3 and here you need to press download button I have already downloaded the file and now I'm gonna install the file from my download folders next except it's quite easy to install it will create this folder in the C drive remember this one it has already installed it's only 19 MB file and here very much important thing is to consider this one Infineon as this one is supported here if your chip is there and I already describe that how can you check the chip there and it has other devices as well like NUC you can also do for those devices I checked before so go to C drive here you will f you know find this SW setup and here there are two files and here you see TPM uh, config 64 so double click on this one and make sure that you have encrypted your data because you may lose your data in the C drive so make it sure that you are doing the right things all right so it took me like less time it says nothing and I need to check this one now uh, double click on this one here and see yeah uh, it, it appeared here so upgrade 2.0 you know version and i'm gonna upgrade and i have read all this one and make sure that you read these kind of things as well next one and in the meantime you see in the c drive there is one thing called a pdf that is full of instructions there if i go to c drive you will see that this folder if i open this one again and you will see a pdf document it says everything about upgrading this one and you follow this you know this pdf file here and in the end of this pdf document you will find a lot of you know hp devices that support this uh, tpm upgradation All right, so now if you go to updates and security, now go to device security and let's check our TPM is 
now update it or not now you just go to security this one and here you see that this version is 2.0 now just uh, press control and uh, x button again and go to device manager and here you need to see that the tpm is upgraded or not here is the security option double click on it and it itself says 2.0 or 2.0 and it is upgraded here as well and in the meantime you can press ctrl press r button and this command and uh, it will show you all the details here now it says that 2.0 is selected and now the tpm is upgraded if you cannot deal with the things for example upgrading windows 11 on your device then you need to all right congratulations you can start processing your windows 11 or the other tasks whatever you are doing with 2.0 tpm and if you like this video thumbs up and subscribe i'll see you in the next awesome video and if you have any question write in the comment section i always respond to those questions see you next time bye bye